Is this here interweb thing connected? Can you interwebs people hear me? What's up you fish hacks? Welcome to Tim's School of Fishing. Class is in session. Today I am unboxing a premium knife from Kubi. Hey Bubba! It's Tim fishing fellers. Got some of these knives again. Ain't got none of them Guggen squad baits today. So let's open this thing up and see what we got today. I am opening this knife with the Migaron Pagos. Pagos. I really like what Migaron is doing lately in their budget line. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we've got. Kubi. So this is my first premium knife from Kubi. Oh. We got a Kubi box inside of a Kubi box. Isn't that special? Pretty decent microfiber cloth. Ooh wee. I think it's like vacuum sealed or something. It's like some space shuttle food. This is the Kubi Monster Dog. Hey Bubba, this here knife's called a Monster Dog. Kubi Monster Dog. As far as I know, this Monster Dog was released a couple of years ago, and then they released a premium version also a couple years ago, but I think the initial premium version was in 20 CV. This one is M390. The great thing about M390 is it holds its edge exceptionally well. It can be a little bit difficult to sharpen unless you're freaking out there chopping down trees doing some Paul Bunyan stuff you're not gonna have to sharpen it all that often at least not for average use and if I'm not mistaken only released the M390 version in 2023 I could be wrong about that but I'm pretty sure that's the case flame anode titanium so it's made out of like some space shuttle metal or something like that this one has the disc style thumb stud. We've got a milled titanium clip, milled titanium backspacer. Uh, this titanium is contoured. Nice chamfering all around the edges. Pow! Pow! That is really nice. That thing just fires out of there. It's easy to deploy with a thumb flick. Whoo, baby! Easy to deploy with a reverse flick. We have T8 hardware, T8 torque screws, even on the clip, which I appreciate. It's got some nice jimping on the back of the blade. It's got a thumb ramp on the back that there. thumb ramp with that jimping is just perfect. Some people are going to hate the aesthetic of this knife. Kind of looks like Toucan Sam from a Fruit Loops box. But I actually happen to think that that is absolutely beautiful. Black PVD coated blade on it. On the blade, we don't have a whole lot of billboarding, which I appreciate. Got the Kubi logo on one side. On the other side, M390 and the designer's mark. The designer of the monster dog is Dimitri Osarenko. This is not a very big knife comes in right around 7.1 inches my hands are wider than the average man by about a half an inch and i can still get a full four finger grip on that thing. really good to get a nice hammer grip on this thing Ooh, look at that knife! i think this is a perfect utilitarian knife very sharp right out of the box the action on this thing is fantastic butter Man, the acoustics on this thing are awesome. Whoo, baby! Value on this knife is phenomenal. Bubba! You can find this for about $160 to $175. For contoured milled titanium and M390, that is a great value. I just love this knife. Phenomenal knife for the money. Hey, Bubba! I'm impressed. Good job, Kubi. I really think Kubi needs to do more of this stuff. I will link this down below if you guys want to check this out. This also comes in the budget version. That is one sexy knife. There you go, boys and girls. The Kubi 
Monster Dog Premium Edition. That's it for this episode of Tim School of Fish, boys and girls. Hey, Bubba, you missed it, man. He had a dog monster knife. Bubba, you missed it. Class dismissed.